Have you ever heard the story that Sukarno had assets in the form of gold bars, amounting to 57,000 tons, which were stored in a bank in Switzerland? Is this story true or just a fairy tale? Let's reveal the facts. This story comes from the story of the agreement between Indonesian President Sukarno and U.S. President John F. Kennedy, which is called the Green Hilton Memorial Agreement, which was published in the Soekarno Trust Treasure Book, written by Safari Ayans. It is said that the agreement was held on November 14, 1963, in Geneva, Switzerland. The agreement was signed by Bung Karno and Kennedy, as well as a witness from Switzerland named William Vauker. Safari said that in the agreement, America agreed to recognize that the country's wealth in the form of gold, amounting to 57,000 tons of gold, came from Indonesia. Bung Karno claimed the funds in the form of gold to America as war booty, even though the Indonesian government does not officially recognize it. Secretly, Indonesian officials, such as active ministers and former presidents, came to UBS or Swiss Bank to disburse the funds. A historian named Asvi Marwan Adam is doubtful about the document used as a reference by Safari. According to him, testing needs to be carried out by the National Archives of the Republic of Indonesia. First, Asvi highlighted the seal used by the President of Indonesia. The stamp should have a picture of rice, cotton, and stars. However, in the Green Hilton Memorial Agreement document, the seal of the President of Indonesia actually depicts Garuda Pancasila. Second, the United States never mentioned the Green Hilton Memorial Agreement at all. Bung Karno and Kennedy actually met, and they discussed the United States' support for the return of West Irian in return for the release of Alan Pope, a pilot who was arrested by the Indonesian Air Force in the PRRI Permesta case, said Asvi. The meeting between Bung Karno and Kennedy in the United States also did not take place on November 14, 1963, but on April 24, 1961. The Green Hilton Memorial Agreement in Geneva, Switzerland was true. Kennedy would have been in Geneva on November 14, 1963. In fact, on that date, Kennedy held a press conference at the United States Department of State Auditorium in Washington, D.C. to answer journalists' questions.